Alright, hi everyone, Audrey Bunny here, and we're back for more Ragnarok Online Philippines. So, I'm currently here in their newest server, uh, Chaos Server. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to make this one a swordswoman, or a, a swordsman, but <laughs> she's a woman, so yeah. Uh, I'm basically done with the uh, novice training, so you must be level, uh, job level 10 and above. Oh, uh, no, no, job level 10, base level any level, I think, as long as it's 10 plus. Uh, in order for you to become a swordsman. So, yep. Welcome to the Swordsman Association. So, what business brings you to us? So, we're going to job change to swordsman. Hmm, you've learned all of the basic skills but didn't take the test yet. You must first pass the exam before you can change your job to swordsman. Enter the room to my right so that you can take the test. You'll need to speak to my right so you can enter the examination area okay okay and you are shrank still wondering what to do with your future eh if i may be so bold i suggest that you follow the path of strength become a swordsman if you wish to take to stake your life on the way of the sword speak to the swordsman association representative to the left Whatever you do, I hope that you live out your life without any regrets. And if you do happen to become a swordsman, come back to me. Okay, I'll come back to you later. So what we're going to do, I think, is to talk to this guy, Aaron. A swordsman? Don't you think high vitality accompanied by rigorous training and unique breathing methods which enable quick HP recovery are the greatest advantages of a swordsman? If you train very well, you will notice how fast your... HP recovers. The recovery depends on your vitality. If you invest in your vitality more, the recovery amount increases accordingly. Of course, it'll be great to have a powerful attack, wouldn't it? You can either acquire a good weapon or bring up your strength to increase your power. You'll need more strength to swing good weapons easily anyway. Another important thing is your accuracy in hitting opponents. Dex is the key here. If you improve your dex, then the gap between the min and max damage will increase. Hmm, are you bored or do you want me to go on? Tell me more, please. Hmm, in that case, I'll explain about other attributes to you briefly. In order to attack and evade quickly, you've got to pay attention to Aji. Uh, in case you want to make more critical hits, it's a good idea to invest in luck. It increases max SP, which is needed for the use of various skills, but the rest is up to you. Okay, so actually, uh, since we're going to make uh, this uh, 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 this character over here a crusader, uh, I'm going to max int first for the uh, heals, grand cross, etc. And then the next skill, or yeah, and the next status we're going to max is strength next is vitality and then last but not the least is dex we don't need agi and luck that much so yeah also i'm going to have my boyfriend become a uh, an acolyte and then he's going to become a monk soon so let's wait for that <laughs> okay you must first the exam. Room to my right. Wait, what? Didn't I just do that? Um, this is the right, right? Uh, uh um, okay. I don't think... Let's try the left side. <laughs> yeah, this one. Okay, I will tell you about the test. Listen carefully. Carefully, I won't repeat myself. Okay. So the swordsman that we were talking to a while ago said it was located at the right side. No, it's not. So if you guys want to become a swordsman, you must head here. Uh, at the left. I think there's a bug or something. What happened to you? To the... <laughs> to it... To his body. Okay. I will tell you about the test, okay? 
The purpose of this test is to confirm whether or not you are qualified to be a swordsman. As you know, a swordsman needs physical strength and spirit. Without those, you won't be able to become a swordsman. Now, the conditions for completing this test are very simple. You will travel through three courses and must reach the final must reach the final checkpoint within 10 minutes if you choose to surrender or if you run out of time you will not pass the test if you find out that you are not strong enough to pass the test head to the entrance of the course and talk to the checkpoint manager as you travel through the three courses you may fall to a random underground area the course is designed so that you can still find your way back however be careful as this will waste your time godspeed to you Okay, how do I start the test? Okay, you must talk to the test hall staff. So are you the one who wants to be a swordsman? Alright, you look reliable. Try to relax and do your best. This course isn't so difficult. Okay, yay! So yeah, this is the new server. Today is, by the way, today is September 27. So it's kind of laggy since there are a lot of people playing here in the new server so what we're going to do is to not fall off hopefully we won't but it's kind of hard balancing especially in in this part oh gosh no i don't want to fall down oh god i fell down no holy crap no please don't hit me so it's just located in here so it's fine let's restart i'm lagging so it's kind of hard also i've already uh, changed my internet provider so it's not that laggy compared to my previous uh internet connection but yeah let's try and be more careful I don't want to fall down, please. Okay. This is safe. Why are... <laughs> I think he didn't know. Okay. Oh, someone fell down. I don't want to fall down, please. Okay. Yay! Level 1. That's level 1, I think. Okay. Oh no! This is level 2. This is so freaking hard. I'm going to take this way. Hopefully, we can walk carefully. I'm just going to balance my mouse. I ain't gonna change the position of my mouse, so... Oh no, I'm lagging. Holy crap. Dude. Oh my gosh. I don't want to fall down because it's hard restarting. I'm too lazy to restart, so yeah. Okay, just just walk carefully. We don't need to rush. Slowly but surely wins the race. Okay. I'm sorry if this is taking so long. I don't want to fall down. Also, I'm lagging, so if I rush, I will definitely fall down. Okay, yay! Okay, what? It's taking a long time to load. It's freaking lagging. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Okay, let's walk over here. Um, hello? Holy crap, I'm lagging. Okay, so I had to redo everything because i just disconnected i ain't i ain't going to fall if i step on these right okay so this is the third course i think okay be careful i don't want to fall okay it's kind of laggy in this part One. 
I'm not even sure if I can. Okay, I can. Holy crap. Ah, finally. Yay, we passed. I sincerely congratulate you for passing the test. I've sent your test results to the job department. Please proceed to the central office. Thank you. Thank you. Can't speak English. Holy crap. So that's... Uh, why did I just pick up that? So we're done with the exam. So let's talk to him again. Job change. Ha ha ha, congratulations! Now you are fully qualified to be a real swordsman. I will transform you right away. Yay, we're now a swordsman! Once again, congratulations! I expect that you will be a good representative of the Swordsman Association. So... Yeah! We're now a swordsman! Alright, hi everyone! So we're back and I'm finally <laughs> base level 42 and job level 27. So I'm going to, sh uh, not really to show you guys, but to uh, tell you guys where I grind uh, solo or you can do it solo or with a duo. I prefer duo only since uh, it, uh, the XP is not that big. To share to a three or more uh, per pe persons in the party. So, yeah, first and foremost, uh, I've grinded a solo duo uh, in Morocco. Uh, you can find it in the very bottom of Morocco. You go outside the bottom of Morocco. And then you go another uh, bottom, and then you'll find that map where it contains a lot of Muka. Um, I don't know how to pronounce them, but Hode. Are they called Hode or Hode? Hodes, yeah, the earthworm thingies. So I, uh, I recommend you grind to the mukas first before you try and uh, grind with hodes because hodes can deal a lot of damage you can die and lose experience so yep right after that we, we went to uh, mount yolnir uh we went to mount yolnir and grinded with the uh, floras floras first and then Argeopace, yes. That's pretty much it. And then uh, if Flores and Argeopace are too hard for you, you can go farm... F not really farm, what the heck am I saying? You can grind experience first at the uh, Orc Village. You can go there by uh, talking to the Kafra, and then she can warp you to the Orc Village. Uh, I, I suggest you grind experience from the orc ladies. So, yep. Orc ladies. Okay. So, this is a uh, long story short. First, you grind with the mukas. Mukas, hodes in Morok. And then you go to the orc village to grind experience from the orc ladies or orc villager, whatever you call them. Yeah. And then the next, uh, the next mobs you're going to gain experience from are the Floras and the Argeope. So that's pretty much it so far. Um, if you can't handle Mukas, you can't. No, no, no. If you can't handle Hodes first, I suggest you grind experience from Yo-Yos, where you can. F find them uh you can find them in the frontera near the what do you call it uh capitolina abbey so yep okay guys so we're back uh we're now level 47 and 
uh, job experience. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Job level 33. So, what I'm going to show you guys is my status and the skills that I've uh, acquired. So, this is my status. What we're going to do, if you guys want to be a crusader, um, I suggest you max int first for the damage of your uh, skills. Int, and then the next thing you're going to max is vitality. And then the next one after vitality is strength. Last but not least is dex. So yes, strength, and no, 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 int, <laughs> int, vitality, strength, dex. Okay, so I'm going to also showcase you the skills. So first, you have, you're gonna have to max sword mastery first because it gives you plus attack damage. So... Okay, from level 1, it gives you plus 4 attack. Level 2, plus 8. Level 3, plus 12. Level 4, plus 16. Level 5, plus 20. Level 6, plus 24. Level 7, plus 28. Level 8, plus 32. Level 9, plus 36. And then level 10, plus 4. Uh, we're not going to need two-handed two sword mastery because... Uh, we're going to become a crusader that uses shields. Yeah, I, I forgot to inform you guys. I'm going to be a crusader that uses shields. But you can also acquire this if you want to become a crusader with two-hand quicken. And if you want to use spear. But I don't think... Uh, int... Vitality, Strength, Dex is for that kind of Crusader, so yeah. And then the next we're going to Max. Max is Increase HP Recovery, so it enhances Natural HP Recovery, Max HP Effects, how much HP Restoration is increased by this skill. So these two skills are important, you need to Max them. So level 1, it gives you plus 5 per 10 seconds. Level 2, plus 10 per 10 seconds. All of them are uh, every 10 seconds. So level 3, plus 15. Level 4, plus 20. Level 5, plus 25. Level 6, plus 30. Level 7, plus 35. Level 8, plus 40. Level 9 plus 45, and lastly, level 10 plus 50. And then the next thing we're going to max is Bash. Uh, this is our core uh, skill in becoming a Crusader. So you really need to increase the int of your swordsman. Int. Yep. So it hits an enemy with crushing force if the fleet that fatal blow is learned. Bash will have an added stun effect at level 5 and higher. So yeah, I'm also going to get this. It's a quest. So I'm going to teach you guys how to get this skill in the next videos. In the future videos. So yep. So level 1, it gives a 130% attack. Level 2, 160%. Level 3, 190%. Level 4, 220%. Level 5, 250%. Level 6, 280%. Level 7, 310. Level 8, 340. Level 9, 370. And level 10, 400%. And then the next we're going to get is Magnum Break. I, uh, so far, I'm just going to max this to level 5 only I'm not sure uh, that's what my boyfriend uh, suggested me suggested to me so I'm just going to level this up to level 5 for now 
So, it drains a small amount of the caster's HP to inflict fire property area, effect damage on enemies in the caster's vicinity, and force them backward for 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, for 10 seconds, after Magnum Break, caster's weapon will receive a 20% fire property strength enhancement. So, it's kind of elemental. Level 1, it gives you 120% attack. Uh, level 2, 140%. Level 3, 160%. Level 4, 180%. Level 5, 200%. Level 6, 220 Level 7, 240 Level 8, 260 Level 9, 280 And level 10, 300% Okay, and the next thing we're going to get is Provoke um, Okay, so we need this To be at level 5 only I don't think you have to max this Since, uh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal So I think we have to get this at level 5 to get Endure. So provoke it enrages a target to decrease its defense while increasing its attack strength. Ineffective against the undead. So you can't use it against zombies and mummies and other undead mobs. So yep. Level 1 plus 5% attack and minus 10% death to uh, the opponent or to the target level 2 plus 8% attack uh, minus 15% death plus 11% attack at level 3 minus 20% death level 4 14% attack minus 25% death level 5 plus 17 attack percent uh, negative, no, not negative. <laughs> minus 30% death. Level 6 plus 20% attack. Minus 35% death. Level 8, 26% attack. Minus 45% death. Level 9, plus 29% attack. Minus 50% death. And level 10, plus 32% attack. Minus 55% death. So, uh... This is a requirement to endure, so we're going to have to need Provoke to be level 5. So it's kind of a supportive skill, so it enables attacking and movement while receiving damage, but is automatically cancelled after skill duration elapses or after caster is hit by 7 attacks. 10 second cast delay disabled in War of Imperium. So this is not that important. Uh, whenever you're in the WOE but I'm still going to get this since it's uh, I can use this for grinding purposes <laughs> so yep level 1 is 10 second 10 seconds M death plus 1 magic defense plus 1 uh, level 2 13 seconds M def plus 2, level 3, 16 seconds. M def plus 3. So that's uh, per level, it's the same with the level. So level 4, M def plus 4, 19 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then. Berserk! We're going to get all three of this. Hopefully, I can. <laughs> I have to get a lot of uh, empty bottles. If you want to get. Uh, these quests, I forgot. I think HP Recovery and Berserk? I'm not sure. As far as I know, there are two of these skills that need a lot of empty bottles. So, don't sell your empty bottles. You have to collect a lot of those. I think you're going to need 300 plus empty bottles. So, yeah. So, we're going to talk about Berserk. It's a quest. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to get this quest uh, done. So don't worry about it. But I'm going to showcase this to you guys. So Berserk is empowered by rage. Character enters condition that is equivalent to level 10. Provoke status when HP is reduced to less than 25% of max HP. Okay, of max HP. 
provoke. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to die. No. Okay, so you can basically solo RDO base now as long as you have potions. Yeah. And it gives you almost 3000 experience if you're uh, grinding solo. Three, uh, almost 3000 experience base level and then 1273 job experience. So it's, it's good, right? <laughs> you can grind here. Uh, I'm in Mount Yolnir. So, where were we? Uh, Berserk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Provoke status lasts until character HP is restored to more than 25% of max HP or if provoke effect is nullified. Okay, so the next skill we're going to talk about is Fatal Blow. It's also a quest skill, so it's a passive skill. Okay, description. So, it it's a combination... For the bash skill. So it causes the stun effect on targeted enemies when using level 5 bash or higher. The chance of inflicting stun increases with bash skill level and base level of the caster. So this is bash's uh, partner. This is actually good because it uh, you can stun people. <laughs> you can stun mobs. So yep. Last but not the least, we're going to talk about HP recovery while moving. This is a very, 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 very important skill for us uh, swordsmen. Uh, especially if you're going solo, you don't have a healer. And, and if you don't have pots, then you're going to die. <laughs> okay, another Ario base here. Oh, let me just kill it. So yeah, you can grind solo, but I prefer you having an acolyte with you. So yep, so HP recovery. It enables natural recovery of HP while moving. Well, duh, that's what it says in uh, the very top. <laughs> Only 25% of the HP that is naturally recovered while standing is restored during movement. The increased recovery skill does not affect HP recovery while moving. So yep, that's basically much it so far. So I'm going to show no no no. I'm going to show you, yeah. I'm going to show you guys on how to get those quest skills in the future videos. So yeah. So I'll be ending the video here. If you guys like the video, why not give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you. Certainly, I'll see you in the next Ragnarok Online Philippines video. Bye-bye!